Welcome back to another course vlog, everyone. I'll be playing Ria Bintan Golf Club, which is a one hour ferry ride from Singapore and technically in Indonesia. And I'll be explaining all of my shots while playing to help you with your course management the next time you guys play. So this golf course is beautiful and especially their signature holes. So be sure to stick around um, and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. All right, so you can see the two bunkers on the right. Um, my plan is to kind of hit it just over the left edge of those bunkers, maybe with a slight cut. All right, 240 uh, to the flag. Um, it's slightly downwind, but I'm just hitting three iron just to make sure I get it to the back. So I'm gonna go pretty much right at it. I, uh... Yeah, a little bit right. <laughs> okay. Um, so I've got this like really, this situation where the ball is really below my feet. It's kind of on a down slope. A uh, bit of a short sided pin, really hard shot. So I'm just gonna try whatever I can to just get it anywhere on the green. And uh, pretty delicate shot. Oh man. Okay, I'll, I'll take that, I'll take that. That's pretty good. Oh, no break. Okay. All right. All right, so 145 yards, pins a little bit more on the right side of the green. Um, so I'm just gonna ideally uh, aim a bit left, make sure I'm center, but if I hit a bit of a pitching wedge, it should be about pin high. Okay, maybe a touch longer than I thought, but still on the green, it's okay. Oh, oh, slower than I thought. Oh no, come on. Oh God. Oh man, my putting is, that was pretty bad putting performance there. <laughs> the greens are a bit slow than I'm used to. So I, I gotta play more break than I'm, um, than I'm already used to on like faster greens. So hopefully I can adjust. Okay, so um, pretty tight hole here. It's really downhill. There's a bunker right in the center of the fairway. Um, and then just to the right of that, there's like kind of, there's water on that side. So I think for me, yes, I could blast it over the bunker, but the landing area is quite narrow. So um, to give myself the best chance, uh, I'm gonna hit a two iron off the tee. Goes around 260, 270 yards. Um, and I should still have like a short iron in. So I think this is the higher percentage play. Unless I tug it left like this. It's right at the bunker, so maybe in the bunker. Oh gosh. So execution is one thing, but at least I had the right plan in mind. Okay, so I've, I've got 130 yards here. I'm on this like severe upslope. Um, you can see, maybe see the pin there. I have to basically hit it over the, the trees, but because I'm, my ball is kind of above my feet like this, um, I have to aim it a little bit more to the right um, because when the ball is above your feet, it'll tend to go more left, okay? So I'm aiming kind of at the right edge of the green. Hopefully the side hill will kind of, you know, uh, compensate a little bit and get my ball to go a little bit more left and I'm pretty sure if I hit it solid, I can get over that tree. So I'm just gonna go pretty much a full swing 50 degree and see how we go. Okay, I think that was a pretty good shot. All right. Just barely got over that tree too. Okay, I may have like a 35 footer or something like that. Uh, down the slope, it's breaking pretty severely, so I'm pretty much aiming 
know, two or three feet to the right. But hopefully um, I can kind of gauge the distance because the greens are a little bit slow. I just want to get it as close as I can. Yeah, way under reading that, and it's still short. Make sure I hit that one pretty hard. <laughs> okay, so another downhill par four. Um, it's about 250 to the center of the fairway. It's, it's really narrow near the green. That's why I'm not really hitting driver. There's kind of water very close to the edge of the fairway on both sides. So um, I think this is again, the higher percentage play. Okay, should be fine. Okay. All right, fair way. I've got uh, 117. Um, pins kind of in the middle or back. You definitely don't want to go long because there's water just over the green. And obviously there's that bunker short. So I think if I put in like a good, like half 50 degree, I should get pretty close to pin high, but I want to be conscious that I, I get the distance control right here. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have used like, like a 58 degree, uh, maybe full more full swing just to make sure I don't hit it like too far accidentally. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Should have hit a 50 in that last shot, but try and see if I can get up and down. Get up, go, go. Ah, okay, somewhat of a chance still, but. No, it doesn't break. Okay, so I mean this hole, um, about 349 meters. Um, so it's not a very long hole, but if I were to hit driver, there's that tongue of rough or that tree line on the right. If, if I hit it a little bit to the right, my, my driver would go in the trees. Um, so it's a, quite a tight landing area with my driver. So um, I, I'm not gonna really get much out of it um, if I do hit it straight. Yeah, maybe you have a wedge in, but even if I hit a two iron, the, the fairway is much wider because my two iron is not going to reach the trees on the right. So wider landing area and I'll probably still have a wedge in uh, or close to a wedge in on my next shot. So that two iron is a bit of a more of a higher percentage play again. Okay. All right, so I have 130 yards, a little bit uphill but my wedges have been going a bit further than normal. Um, so I'm gonna go to a 50 degree wedge, just so I can kind of play a bit more full and be, be a bit more comfortable. I think I should still be able to reach there. I think because the weather's so hot, uh, it's going a bit further. And I hit that really bad, but... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad, okay. But it's a bit right, short right, but it's okay. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. My putting is so bad today. Slight cut, but should be still on the fairway there. Yep. Okay. Kind of doing like a 730 backswing. Ah, uh, okay. I'll get a touch left, but it's still pin high somewhat. Oh my God. Okay, you can see how bad my field is off. By. Okay, I don't know what it is. Man, hunting is off. All right, so par five here, uh, 457 meters. Um, so you can kind of see that's a dog leg to the right. So I've got to play a cut here. Um, otherwise I risk kind of hitting it into that hill straight, straight uh, uh, through the fairway there. 
So I think if I hit a pretty good cut, uh, I should have an easy shot into the green um, for a chance at two on. Cut a little more. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I've got 184 yards left. Um, I'm just in the rough, so usually when I'm in the rough here, I catch a bit of a flyer lie, so there's less spin when I hit the ball, so it'll, it'll jump maybe a club or two further. So usually from this distance, I'll hit seven iron, uh, but I'm gonna hit an eight iron just to maybe hopefully compensate for that. So I think I can, I can at least get to the middle of the green uh, hitting a normal shot from here, hoping that there's a flyer lie. <laughs> so pins at the back left. Again, I'm gonna try to aim it to more of the middle of the green, maybe just slightly to the right of the flag. Uh, shit, dude. Okay. All right, blocked it a bit right, but I'm on the green. So I've got this really long putt uh, up the hills. It's a slow green already, so I'm just trying to make sure I can get it close enough so I can just get a, a birdie. And I'm gonna have to hit this pretty hard. Okay, well, yeah. I might have pushed that a bit, but. Oh, thank God, got one back. <laughs> Finally. So, uh, a bit of a short par four, dog leg left. Now, if, I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there's this pole, black and white pole. I'm gonna pretty much aim at that and hopefully it just kind of peels to the left or just draws just a bit left of that, uh, that target there. Pretty much right at it. Should be good though. It's really downhill. So it's probably playing closer to 120 yards. So I have a 50 degree wedge. Uh, I'm gonna play about like a, like a nine o'clock backswing. And I think I can get it at least pin high. I don't wanna be too aggressive at the pin uh, because just left of the flag is water. So I wanna play a bit, bit to the right or kind of more, more to the middle of the green. Oh no, I pulled it. Okay, I'm safe, gosh dang. I, I did exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh man. Yeah, so I'm like really, really close to the edge here. Um, but I'm just thankful I just, <laughs> it was safe. So I got this little chip, hopefully I can just get it really close. Ooh. Close. All right, four. The pin's at the very back of the green. Obviously, I don't want to get all the way back there. So I want to play it maybe 170 to 175. So I'm, I'm just kind of hitting an eight iron just to make sure I don't risk shooting over the green. And I'm going to go right at this flag as well. Pretty good. Okay, all right, so just below the pin on the top ridge as well, so that's really good. Pretty long putt up the hill, breaking from right to left. Again, just trying to get the speed. Oh, God. All right, maybe I'm getting a bit better with the speed. I hit that so hard. Fair away on the opposite end, 270 yards. There's water there um, and it's dog leg left. So I'm gonna hit two iron just to make sure I'm just short of that water. Um, again, give me the highest percentage of a successful tee shot. And uh, pretty much a straightaway tee shot here. So 112 yards, uh, pins at the back. So I'm gonna hit my 58 degree, uh, pretty much a, a comfortable full shot. I uh, don't have to swing it really hard or anything, but uh, I think that should get me pin high, or maybe just short of pin high. Don't wanna go long.
oh, yeah, slight block, but um, should still be on the green. <laughs> okay, so you can see my ball is just off the green. Um, I'm, I can chip it, but I'm close enough to the edge where I can just putt it, right? I think that's a easier shot for most people. Um, so you can, and not, not too far away from it as well. So somewhat of a birdie chance here. Breaking a bit right to left. Let's see what I can do. Break, 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 break. Almost. Okay, so I think I'm feeling out the distance better. Getting a little bit closer. So standard par on this hole. Okay, so this hole is 346 meters, so another short par four. Um, on the left, to carry that bunker, it's about 270 yards. Um, so now there's water in front, pins kind of tucked at the very front of the green. So my idea here is if I hit two iron, um, it's, it's fairly wide just to the right of the bunker, so I'm, I'm pretty confident I'll get it on the fairway. Um, and that leaves me more of a full wedge, uh, which is a bit more comfortable for me coming into like a pin that's like really close to the front edge. And also since there's water in front, um, it'd, be, it'd be awkward if I blast a driver over the bunker and I had this you know, short pitch in the green to a short-sided pin with water in front. So for me, for knowing my game, uh, two iron on the pin, uh, two iron off the tee with more of a full wedge in is a bit more comfortable. Pretty good. All right, so I have about 110 yards. So according to my plan at the start, um, I was successful because now I have like more of a full 58 degree wedge, which I feel more comfortable with, with the pin so close to the front and water kind of at the front. So I think I can get this pretty much pin high, maybe just slightly beyond pin high. Okay, so slightly beyond pin high, which is still, still safe. So we've got a nine footer here. So I just want to make a pot, really. I need another birdie. So hopefully I can get this one in. God, I blasted that. Ugh. Par, only par. Man, I can't, I can't drain anything today. I just can't. But I gotta stay positive, hopefully I can. Sneak in one more birdie, at least. All right, so 183 yards, pins at the front. A little bit of wind in my face, so I think just a, a standard seven iron is fine. It's not, nothing much to this hole, so pretty much aiming right at the flag. Maybe just slightly left, if anything. Be the club, be the club. Oh, just, just short. Maybe a bit stronger wind than I thought. Just trying to land it a little bit, just maybe three or four feet on the green. Got a trickle, so hopefully I can just get this pretty close. Get up, get up. Okay, just like a tap and par. All right, standard. A long par five here. Um, no, no, not much comment. Just bombs away. <laughs> I... Maybe a bit right. All right. So if you guys look at my lie, it's not very good. I've got 269 yards. I have a two iron in my hand, but I think this is going to come out pretty low. So I, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach the green, but if I can get somewhat good contact on this, at least maybe it'll roll up fairly close to the green. I can just have a chip and a putt. Ooh, just missed the tree, but should be pretty good. Yeah, rolled up fairly close, but yeah, maybe a pitch, short pitch coming in. Okay, so um, got a short pitch kind of up the hill. I kind of want to play this low shot. Uh, maybe lands about 10 feet, 15 feet on the green, um, just because just to get over that slope to the back pin. 
So I'm just gonna try and hold off my finish. See how I go. And that was like, not hard enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that breaks a lot. Okay, so another long uh, par four, pretty much straight away. So I'm just gonna just bomb driver down the center. No real need to, to shape it any different. Okay, pretty good drive. All right, uh, 160 downhill. So I'm just gonna hit like an easy or like a punch nine. Should be okay. Just below pin high, but should be fine. I thought I was gonna break more. Okay. Okay, so through the straight through the fairway, you don't really see it, but there's a huge drop off, and that's about 250, 260 yards. So I gotta stay slightly more to the right side of the fairway, and I'm just gonna hit two iron. Should be perfect. Just on the right side of the fairway. Okay. Okay, so I've got 125 yards. Pin is tucked to the front left. And you can see there's another big drop off uh, just left of the flag. So my target here really isn't the flag. It's just kind of more, maybe at the right edge of that bunker uh, behind the green, just to be safe. And I'm just gonna have like a smooth 50 degree wedge here. And I block that right into the bunker. <sighs> perfect, absolutely perfect. All right, so uh, again, very difficult. Oh boy. Um, man, I just gotta keep this on the green somehow. So I'm just gonna aim a bit right, man. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Oh man. Okay. Oh, I thought I had that one. Ooh. Double bogey on the card. Okay, just down the left side of the fairway. Should be okay. Up the hill, just hitting a three iron right at the flag pins at the back. Hope if I can just get this on in two. I think that's on. Oh my gosh, it's extremely slow now. It's downhill, so it's probably playing maybe closer to 160, so I'm just hitting my nine. Pins in the middle, going right at it. I, I can't I can't tell. But it seems like a pretty good shot. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. Caught it alright, just landed it way too far. 
Bye. Ah, bogey. This is a strange hole. I don't know how I hit my nine iron that far. Okay, it's getting kind of nuts, but it's downpouring. Really narrow tee shot, but I've got to hit like a bit of a fade around the corner a little bit. Not much of a fade. Still all right. It's uh, kind of wet in the rough again, so I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna catch a fly alive. So I'm gonna hit like a a seven iron. Obviously slightly to the right of the flag because there's that, that gorge kind of on the left. Okay. Oh. God. Right in time. The horn just got off now as we finished the 18th hole. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. It's a bit of a tough round today, but it is a fairly challenging course from the tips. But regardless, I enjoyed myself. A very, very fun course. One of my favorites actually um, outside of Singapore. And it's very, very close. So it's very, very accessible. So if you guys are in the area, you should definitely check it out.